What up, you vapors out there? How y'all doing today? So what I wanted to go over today was the second what mod I've ever had. And that is the Ice Stick 50 Watt by E-Leaf. Now, basically what I wanted to go over today was um, the price points, what I got sitting on her, and is she safe? And if I lost this, would I go out tomorrow and buy one? So, what I want to get into, is she safe? Does people ask? Me thinks yes. Like I said, she is a safe mod. She is a regulated mod. And if you guys don't know the difference between regulated and unregulated, regulated means it has a screen you can tell what wattage it's you're vaping at. Unregulated means you don't have jack crap. So you can't even tell what you're vaping at. So I think that's not safe at all. So yes, the iStick 50 Watt is a safe mod, and she is a beaut, and she chucks like crazy. But, second thing what I wanted to go in with would be, what I got sitting on her is the Heracles tank. It is a beauty of a tank. Isn't she beautiful? She's crisp, clean, and looks more beautiful than ever. And she's a chuckin'. She is a chuckin' the vapor, man. I'm telling you, She chucks more than I've ever thought before. Next thing, price point. You can get the iStick 50 watt for around 75 to 85 bucks. Heracles would probably around 20 to 30. And she's cheapy, cheapy, cheapy. And my God, she is worth it. Definitely more restrictive, but um, the Heracles is actually a very beautiful mod, and what I'm vaping, the juice I'm vaping on today is 36 Nick of Banana Cream Pie. Honestly, it's very beautiful, but uh, yeah, but uh, this is a regulated mod, this is a unregulated mod, and I don't vape on this one no more, and I don't think I'm going to be vaping on it until I actually get a new mod. So, yeah, always make sure it's regulated, unless if it's the pen, and make sure you don't have faulty batteries. And you can tell if they're faulty or if there's something wrong with them if they start to corrode. Now, what corrode means is they're going to start to rust. Pretty bad, too. Once you see them rust, toss them away, make sure you have new ones, and there you go. So, yeah. Now, the 18650s, they're really good ones, honestly. Plastic covering, or rubber covering, I guess, whatever. But, they're safe, they're pretty cool, but make sure they don't corrode. Make sure you take very good care of them, and make sure that you subscribe to Rip Tripper! Thank you, buddy! But... He's the person that got me into this. Shout outs to you, man. Thank you. I really appreciate this. You got me into vaping. You helped me be what I am today. And man. You've done one heck of a good job at it. But yeah. See the voice change. You vape, your voice is lower. You blow it out, voice higher. So, yeah, it's actually pretty sweet. But, yeah, and time to get into the next thing. If I would have lost this thing, would I go tomorrow and buy one? The answer is yes! Yes, I will go out and buy one if I would have lost this thing today. But, man, hopefully I never lose it because I love this thing, man. It feels really good in the old hand. Is very clicky and um, 
It's actually really cool. And the cool part is you can actually, if you actually can see that, which I'm pretty sure you can because I'm using my iPod right now. And it's an iPod 4 and this thing sucks. But, yeah. That's the only thing I can have. But, yeah. It's been quite a long time since I've done a video. But, man. I'm just in love with this thing. Ely, thank you so much for coming up with something safer. Appreciate it! This is Colt Wyrick. And... As Rip Trippers always says, as Rip Trippers always said, smoking is dead, vaping is the future, and the future is now.